about uh, becoming McCready, my uh, where I'll go over my McCready cosplay costume that I put together in the summer of 2023. Um, my daughter was into cosplay and wanted us to get into it. So she wanted me to come up with a costume and I'm like, what do I want to do? What do I want to spend time and money on doing? And I just recently saw Adam Savage's video where he went incognito at a Comic-Con as RJ McCready from The Thing. So that is one of my favorite movies. So I figured I will do a different version of RJ McCready, basically the last stand final battle version of McCready. So let's get into it. So it all starts with the jacket. At least for me, when I'm putting together this costume, I'm like, I have to find the right jacket. And searching on Facebook Marketplace, I kept an eye on it, and within a week, I found the jacket. <laughs> Couldn't find uh, any identifiable marks, but it does appear to be a replica shots jacket, like worn in the movie. Obviously painted up, uh, airbrushed white and light blue, has some silicone uh, frosting detail along with some uh, very fine glitter uh, that is mixed in with the paint and the silicone. So we got our got our jacket. Next, we have our ammunition harnesses. So these are. U.S. issue um, Thompson magazine pouches and a DAR automatic rifle magazine pouch for the Molotov cocktails. So I ended up using two inch black nylon webbing with fast X buckles. Uh, in the movie they used uh, about four different black belts taped together. This is just easier for getting in and out of uh, the cost on itself. You don't really see much of the strapping anyway when you got it put on. Uh, I built a road flare prop recently from scratch. You can see details about that. I'll put a link to it in the, in the RPF forum. Uh, it's got uh, flickering LED action. So we got a prop road flare. Pants. We didn't, I didn't use any Vietnam era flight pants. I just got a pair of Canadian issue military, I believe they're helicopter pants. Again, slightly frosted, basic brown belt and uh, fit them up like that. Frosted goggles, and again, just airbrushed, a little bit of silicone on that. But the gloves, again, not screen accurate. You go back and forth between you want screen accurate, how much money do you want to spend, and I also want to be comfortable. So I just found a pair of uh, winter gloves, fairly basic, and I tore out all the lining. So they're really thin, really lightweight. Um, you don't sweat too much in them at a con, which is nice. And I do have a pair of internal gloves I can wear just to give them a little bit more padding so they don't slide off your hands. The iconic hat. So, you can buy replica hats out there. I've seen them anywhere between four and eight hundred dollars. Again, because my cosplay was the final battle where he's very cold, covered in frost, everything had to be painted, so essentially ruined. And I didn't want to ruin some really nice props, so I ended up making my own replica sombrero, I guess for lack of a better word, um, out of uh, foam. Uh, high density foam. Uh, cosplayers use it all the time. Easy to cut, sculpt, heat, 
then the paint and a few little details and we got our McCready hat. Next up, dynamite. So we've got eight sticks, I believe. Um, we've got wicked versions. Okay. Four in the front. The ones in the side, I got some coiled up extra fuse. Kind of similar to what I saw in the movie. Uh, these are just uh, gray uh, electrical conduit. Um, cut into chunks, wrapped in packing paper. Did a little stenciling on there, uh, a little frosting, and then I just coated them all in uh, like Mod Podge, giving that kind of waxing feel. So we made a, made a bunch of those. That will go into the pouch. Next up, small top cocktails. So again, you can't bring glass into a con. So these are actually plastic bottles. Uh, and then I got the red caps just at a local winemaking shop. They just heat shrink on. And I got some labels printed up uh, online and sent to me. And again, just a frosting effect with uh, airbrushing some white, slightly blue, and some glitter. And you have three of those. A little dirty rag coming out the top completes our Molotov cocktail. Boots. So boots were an experiment. These are my second pair. Uh, again, bought used boots. They are not accurate Vietnam era jungle boots. Um, these are just you know SWAT branded boots, um, and just a light, basically on the fabric. We did a, a light airbrush, and then ended up using um, white silicone caulking because it's flexible. Uh, my first pair of boots, I heavily painted with the airbrush, and anywhere it bends, the paint just cracked and flaked off. So I, uh, with the silicone, gives it some rubbery, won't come off, you should be good to go. Here we've got the infamous blue hoodie. Okay, again, a little frosted detail on there, hard to see. Uh, but again, it's just the top. Okay, so again, walking around a con all day, it gets hot. Uh, I cut off the arms and cut off the ha uh, most of the chest, so it's just a bib, basically. So again, see what you need to see, but anything else you don't need it. Holster. Okay, again, made this out of uh, foam. It's the EVA foam. Painted it, sewed it with some uh, just some twine, and be able to heat shape it, bend it. Turned out really good. Actually, looks like leather. Again, because I was painting everything white, you know, I, you don't really want to be, you know, ruining a, a, an actual holster. So this is this is this worked perfectly. It's not even really noticeable in the costume and the bandolier and all the dynamites on the Molotov cocktails. You, you don't even really see it too much. Last but not least, we just did up just a replica revolver. Had a friend 3D print one up for me. Um, only enough barrel to give it enough support. Orange, obviously, cons have rules about replica firearms. This one was okay, it's tagged. Never comes out of the holster anyway. Um, so that's it for the parts. So I'll just quickly touch on some of the facial makeup that I use uh, for becoming McCready. Um, to start with, we have a very light foundation and a white uh, cream, cream stick. Uh, facial makeup and we blend the two together all over gives you that kind of pale look that you're going for uh, The beard is real. I grew it specifically last year for this cosplay. I looked on Etsy and online for uh, 
fake beards and getting a custom beard done, but they're going to be very expensive and I wasn't going to get one in time for the con that I was getting this costume initially ready for. So I decided it's cheaper and easier just to grow a real beard. So I've kept the beard uh, for this year's cons in 2024 uh, and probably get rid of it when, when we're done playing in a preview. So, so these will give you that white, pale, very cold uh, complexion. And then what really sells it are these two products. Uh, you have the snow paste, okay, which simulates snow uh, in clothing, beard, whatever you want to put it on. And then we have the clear ultra ice gel, which can go on over top of that, which makes it look it's an icy looking gel. So once you apply this, brush it in, rub it into your beard, wherever you want frost, heavy frost and snow, under the nose, under the mouth, and then you can apply some of this gel on top of it. Not only does it look like ice, but it keeps this nice and moist so it doesn't uh, dry up and flake off throughout the day. So these two combined gives you that icy beard look. enjoyed watching my video of Becoming McCready. Uh, it was fun to put together. It was fun to do as a cosplay. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm more than happy to answer any questions. If you want more detail on the intricacies of building the actual costume, check out the links uh, to the RPF forum. I have a thread on there for the costume. I also have a thread on there for building the Rogue Flare prop. So just go to the RPF forum and search for The Thing, and you'll find both of those there. Thanks for watching. Take care. You're gonna have to sleep sometime, McCready. Oh, real light sleeper, child.